Welcome to today's workout. Before we get going with that dynamic warm up, I just want to remind you to wear your OTB heart rate monitor. It's the best tool with this heart rate based interval training to really make sure you're working and training at the right intensity. So we have a four minute dynamic warm up here. We're going to start with a knee hug to leg extension. You're going to bring that knee right towards your chest, then fully extend that leg and bring it behind you. You got 30 seconds each leg. From there, we got a hip internal and external rotation. Knees up, you're just bringing it into that 90 degree uh, rotation and then going right back to that starting point. You got 30 seconds each leg here. From there, we'll take it into a full body rotation, just really activating those core muscles, getting that body moving. You got 30 seconds each leg, swinging that arm. And lastly, we got a five point squat. You're gonna sit those hips back, reach for your toes, one leg, one arm goes up at a time, stand up tall, five points, one minute for that last exercise. You got four minutes, let's get warmed up.
12 minute total body block coming up next. Carl, you ready? Let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with a ground to press. You're only gonna do one round of this. Grab two objects, sit those hips down and back, press those objects above as you drive up. As an option, just limit the range of motion on the squat, lower the weight on those dumbbells, make it just a bit easier. Then you're gonna put on your mini band. We're going mid band height. Really take your time there, going below the knees. You're gonna be doing two rounds of these mini band exercises, then taking it off for another ground to press. So, Monster walk, mini bands on. You're gonna draw a C with that foot, just going on the inside of that other foot. Three steps forward, three steps back. Then we got a squat to leg lift. You're gonna take a, uh, sit those hips back, drive all the way up, then one foot's just gently going out to the side. Don't focus too much on that big range of motion. Really control it, squeeze that core. Then you do another ground to press. We'll do two more rounds of an iso squat to lateral walk. So you're gonna take three steps out to one side, sit those hips down and back, and three steps back to the center. You got six reps. And lastly, you'll grab onto two objects. They're gonna be a little heavier than usual. We're gonna do a nice front squat here. Sit those hips back, keep that chest up, drive up, squeeze those glutes at the top. You got 12 minutes, go ahead and take off.
Right, team, we have a cardio round coming at you. Eight minutes of work. We're gonna knock out three rounds. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. So lateral hops you're starting off with. You're jumping side to side. Imagine that you're jumping over something on the ground. Keeping it light on the feet option here is you can just step it over instead. Then you're gonna move into a squat jack. So feet are nice and hip width apart. Going low in that squat, you're jumping the feet in together. Option is to step it out into that squat, bring it back together, and then step it out to the other side. Then you're moving into a running jack. So your shoulders are over your wrists. You're engaging that core. Your feet are moving nice and quickly as you drive that knee towards the chest. Option, tap the toe on the ground instead. Last favorite thing, tuck jumps. We're going to move into it. We have that 30 seconds of work here, bringing those knees up towards your chest, engaging your core. So 30 seconds of work, then you'll have 15 seconds of rest, eight minutes of work, team. Let's conquer it.
right, fam, check it out. We have a total body workout that is sure to get you back into that orange zone. We have 10 minutes. First up, we're going to grab our objects. We're going to perform a neutral full thruster. Place them above your shoulders. Keep your feet hip-width apart. Squat down. Stay heavy in the heels. Exhale on the way up. Keep that core engaged. After that, we're going to do two rounds of two mini band exercises. Now, you are going to place them around your wrist. Always spread your hands apart far enough so that way there's always tension applied to it. First up is the hammer curl, elbows tucked into your side, palms facing each other. We're going to exhale as we bring them, bring them up, slightly resist them on the way down. Remember to keep tension on the mini band. Next one is a hip hinge low row. So again, keeping the feet hip width apart, we're going to bend over, push hips back, pull those objects up. Again, keep your elbows tucked into your side, exhale as you bring them up. Two rounds of those two exercises, then we're going to go back to the neutral full thruster. After that, place the mini band again around your wrist and you spread your hands apart. Always keep tension on that mini band. First up is a low plank in and out. So she's in a push up position, keeping your arm straight. We're going to bring one hand out and then bring it back in. Same thing with the opposite hand. Option, we're going to perform that with the knees on the ground. Next one is a static crunch with scissors. So arms are straight, legs are straight. We're going to crunch up and really engage that core. We're going to alternate bringing those legs up and down. Slow and control is the name of the game. Now I want you to do just like Julia did, get into that orange zone and let's make it happen. Hey!
Nice work today, guys. You earned a three-minute flexibility block. We're starting down on the mat in a child's pose, so Julia's going to pull her toes together and knees apart. Pushing weight back into the hips and really elongating with the fingertips, trying to get as long as she can through the spine for 20 seconds. We'll then move on to a cat camel, so hands go under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and the tabletop. You're going to alternate between arching down and arching up to make this big of a circle as you can, head to tailbone up, and then on the inside, you're going to pull the tailbone and the head together underneath yourself. We're moving into a seated crossbody stretch. So you 20 seconds on each side, you'll alternate which foot is in front, and you're going to twist all the way over opposite hand to opposite knee. Try to grow up and out of your spine before you do that rotation and then make sure to get the other side. Next up you have a butterfly stretch so feet together, knees open as wide as your range of motion will allow and you can lean in a little bit more if you want an extra stretch or just hang out in that upward position. 20 seconds, last one, you have a seated toe reach so full extension through the legs and the knees. She's keeping her back nice and flat and reaching as far as she can over before she comes down to the feet. Hold for 20 seconds and you've been cooled down. Can it be done? Hey. Hey. Can it be done? I will not forget our conversation when you looked at me. There's no conversation 